Hello, in today's video, I will show you how to determine the high and low of the month with 89% accuracy. The reason why you need to understand this is to help you in your directional bias. Last week, I introduced you to the concept of higher time frame D zones, okay? Meaning, you understanding the levels you'll be waiting for price to break in order to form a bias. And you are going to do this in a chain reaction, in form of what? A storytelling. You started the week understanding the high and low of the week. Now that the week is formed, what next? And that brings us to this particular word video. Because in this video, I want to show you how you know the high and low of the month. Because remember, trading is all about time and price. It's time and this is price. Okay. And the hour go always put in place the first hour, days and week into consideration when they are moving price. And that is what I want to show you here. Now, when the first week of the month is formed, okay, you then draw a line, the highest year and the low year. You pull it out. This will be the monthly DZ. Okay, the monthly defining zone. This will be the monthly implied defining zone. Okay, and the same thing here. And this will be monthly defining zone. Because the first week most likely will form either the high or the low of the month. So you need to monitor for a break here. Okay, if price closes next week with a week above this, then for the rest of the month, you have to be bullish. Meaning you look for bullish trade setup in order to engage in the market. That will then confirm here as the low of the month. Okay. Also, when you have a close below, that confirms that this is the eye of the month and we don't expect price to come take this month with 87% what probability. Okay. Now, how do you use this in your favor? You say, will I have to wait for the month for the second week to close? No. You will be using the idea of the weekly high and low to form your buyers, then when this happens, it then confirms the buyers that this month, this particular month, for example, should end in a what? Bearish candle. Okay? What we don't want to see, as explained, is a week. When price trade up and then weeks down, this is an, an indication that the buy side liquidity has been taken therefore price will need to seek the liquidity below which is the sell side liquidity and as such your buyers will be what bearish okay you start looking for bearish setup till this goal is met likewise this if price goes below take the sell side liquidity and close back in this is an indication that we have swept the previous week low, thereby we need to be moving to this top. Then our buyers will be what? Bullish. And when you have this in play, this bullish confirmation in line with the WDZ confirmation bullish down to your lower time frame, then you have a high probability trade setup to start looking for bullish movement till this is met. So, what do you do? Now, to trade an early indication, meaning 
if you have a daily candle closes above this you can start looking for what bullish move up to a certain level which i will show with you in later videos so that means you need to subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell and share this video so that it can reach a lot of people also like this video if it makes sense okay when we have a daily close this is an early indication that you can be looking for bullish setup up to a certain level okay or a certain objective likewise this okay you can be looking for bullish set, uh, bearish setup up to a certain objective so without wasting time let me show you this on the chart before now you see this this is the month of december as you can see it's not about cherry picking i'm only working with what is in front of us now the month of december we have this week close and this is the high and this is the low now if you see when price open in the second week price traded up why is price trading up okay price is trading up to fulfill this objective of filling up this fair value gap this ICT fair value gap so this strategy you use it in line with ICT concepts if you add it together you will find directional bias easy to spot okay so now we have a bearish week here but when price open price moved up here to the fair value gap then from there started heading down and it closes below this alone is an indication that for the next two weeks we should be looking for bearish trade and as you can see the third week close was a bearish and also closes below this level okay closes below this level this is a strong indication that this fourth week we should be looking for what sells because number one we don't have any reason to go up again because price has met its objective up here okay so all you need to do is when price came back to retest this line you can then go to your lower time frame daily four hour one hour to start looking for what bearish setup in form of what ict fair value gaps and displacement that is my favorite um, concept in ICT because they are very very powerful so now if I'm to predict this movement here I can see we have a fair value gap below here so probably price is adding to this sell side liquidity here yeah, to fill up and rebalance this level so price in the coming months or weeks we should be expecting a bearish movement to this downside okay so you can see how this has helped us frame a directional bias just by looking at the time frame alone also in the previous week we have the high and the low price traded up to fill up this imbalance okay price went up came down then form a bullish candle maybe price closes above this level then that confirms our bullish sentiment that we need to be looking for what bullish price action going forward and when price resumed the fourth week of trading it came down this was a buying opportunity for you to start looking for what your bearish trade setup to take the price to the upside and you can see this was the low of the month okay let's continue in this other month here we have the low here and we have the eye yeah so what is this price action telling you this price action is telling you that you can see market went low then later closed in this is a liquidity sweep that means the sell side liquidity has been taken the moment you come to the chart on this particular week 
what should come to your mind is bullish price action. So in this third week, you will be looking for bullish setup in order to take your trade. This will be your preferred directional bias. Okay. Using the MDZ levels. Okay. In this case, the low has been confirmed. So therefore, we have to look for a way to form a new eye. And you can see price close above this, further telling us that we need to be looking for what? Bullish setups. Okay. And this particular month, we had uh, this month was five weeks. Okay. It was a five week month. So you can also add up additional trading opportunity when price traded low to take the price to the upside. Okay. So looking at this here, we have the I. We have the low. So initially price went up. Okay, probably filling up fair value gap. I see the fair value gap in here. Then from here, this was your trade setup for a bearish move. And you can see if it, you did not take this trade and probably this week ended and you are coming to your chart in the third week. Then seeing all this, you know that your sentiment should be what? Bearish. Why? Because market has swept the buy side liquidity and therefore we might be looking for further push down. And as you can see, this particular month we closed below the MDZ level and that would have given you a very good trade for that particular month week so that confirms here yeah, to be what the eye of the month and this the lows will be established so this concept this strategy is very useful this is what i use every week to determine my directional bias and also know where price will be heading to in the next month so what you need to do here is to back test this work for all financial assets, crypto, forex, indices, and so on. You can backtest as many currency pairs as possible as you can. I don't want this video to be too long. And on that note, I will see you in this video.